Hi guys, good morning and welcome to one more live trading video. Today is 23rd March, Thursday, weekly expiry in Nifty Bank Nifty. So we will do one more live trading video and before market opens, let us see in Nifty Bank Nifty where are the important support and resistance. And same time I want to tell you that my voice is not good. I am having a sore throat. So please bear with me if there is any problem in the voice. So now first start with the Nifty. Nifty you can see that yesterday we had a kind of sideways day. It opened with a gap up, green candle. Then it did not touch that important resistance which I marked here, 17,224 and 17,207. It started reversing before even touching that and for the rest part of the day, Nifty stayed totally sideways. So it was a total sideways days yesterday in Nifty. And today we have a narrow CPR. And when I saw the SGX Nifty last time, SGX Nifty was trading minus 15 points and yesterday night US market closed red and even Asian markets when I saw it last time it was in the mixed that means somewhere in the green and somewhere in the red. So today when market opens 15 points mean we may open somewhere near to previous day close only. We may open flat that means near to previous day close. So now where I am planning to take the trade? I am planning to take the trade here. If I see bearish price action, then I will be thinking about shorting here or if it breaks the previous day low, then it is breaking one of the important support because if you look at yesterday's chart, you can see that yesterday two times Nifty took the support here. First time it bounced, second time also it bounced. So that means there are strong buyers are at this place. So that means this is the strong place for buyers. So that means they have a stop loss below this level. They have a sell order that is the stop loss below the S1 period below the previous day low. So if market opens with a red candle, market opens with a red candle and start falling, then all the stop losses can get triggered people who have stop losses here. People who have stop losses here, everything get, can get triggered. But at the same time, it's a tricky situation because there is a virgin CPR support. The green level which I marked that is the virgin CPR support. So there is a chances that again price can bounce and start going up. Trapping people who went short here. So that's why today is the market where it's a wait and watch market. Today I don't think it's a market where, where one can take the trade right at the opening. It's a market to wait and watch. That means wait for some time once market opens. Look at the price action and see who are winning the battle, buyers or sellers. And whoever you see that winning the battles, then go with them. That means if it comes down, comes down, breaks the previous day low, then start taking support and start going up. Then this is the place one can think about going long around this place. If this place start showing bullishness, one can go long because there is a strong virgin CPR support. So that's why I don't have any bias towards whether I'm bullish or bearish. Only thing is that I will be entering long around this region. If I see bullishness or if I see bearishness, I short here and let us what about the bank nifty bank nifty also same like nifty. It opened gap up made a bearish candle then for rest part of the day stay sideways. And here also we have almost like narrow CPR and bank nifty also you can see that almost three times it took the support near that 39,836 region. So that means strong buyers are present here who are defending that level so that means they have a stop loss here but the thing is that if the stop loss get triggered but still there is a virgin cpr this could be strong support for today so i would be a little bit careful about going short around this region this is also strong resistance for bank nifty because there is a 20 ma on daily time frame which could be a strong resistance but this will change once market opens it will not be exact so once market opens you have to go and see where exactly 20 ma on daily time frame that is my analysis for nifty bank nifty once market opens at 9 50 i'll come back and i'll give you the live comment okay guys good morning market has just opened and you can see that there is a big gap down i was telling that there can be a flat opening or a small gap down but it's a huge gap down so there is a big gap down below the previous day low but you can see that candle taking support right at the virgin cpr making a wix here so there is no short opportunity because candle opened at the support so let us see at the end of the candle whether it makes a bullish and closes above the previous day low or it will go down 
and let us see bank nifty bank nifty also you can see that same thing it opened right at the previous day low but it is also taking support at the virgin cpr so let us wait and see whether this virgin cpr acts as a support or eventually it gets broken so once candle closed i'll update you again okay guys now first candle closed and look at this first candle closed right at the virgin cpr right it could not break the virgin cpr that mean could not go below the virgin cpr and let us see now what happens with the second candle whether it makes a reversal or it goes down and bank nifty also you can see that same like nifty bank nifty also took the support near the virgin cpr and still not able to break this level so if it makes a reversal then people who went short here they are going to get trapped people who went short on this candle they have a stop loss here so there is a stop loss here which is a buy order or a long order so that get triggered if this gets broken so that's why i not taken any trade because there is no shorting opportunity because i can't go short because that is a virgin cpr support and same time 20 ama also two away so chances of going back to 20 ama becomes higher so risk reward is not good to go short bank nifty look at this bank nifty now trying to reverse from the cpr trying to make a pin bar anyways i'll update you again after the candle closed okay guys now second candle also closed and look at this second candle also could not break the first candle high made a kind of doji but it is it looks more like a bullish pin bar because for doji wicks has to be same length on the both side so this is more like a bullish pin bar and what about the bank nifty bank nifty also you can see that it went up and took the resistance second candle right at the previous day low and now and now third candle again making a bearish candle so as i was telling you that still i am not comfortable to go short anyways i'll update you again one candle closed okay guys now you can see that after three candles now fourth candle looks like it is taking support near the r2 pivot and making a bullish pin bar if it stays bullish pin bar and if there is a follow up that mean next candle also looks bullish then maybe i'll take my long position in nifty or bank nifty because bank nifty also looking bullish now looks like it is reversing from the virgin cpr if it stays bullish then maybe i will take my first position because it looks like it's a trap for people who went short here so looks like it will go up and trap all the short sellers but anyway too early to say because candle has not closed anything can happen but as what i am telling is that i am more interested to go long if i see bullish price action looks like it is going to close bullish so what i am thinking is that i will take my first position in bank nifty this is my order book you can see that i have placed order for 500 units and average price is 93 and i am adding another 500 now and you can see that i have added 500 more so currently average price coming to 90 and currently it is trading at 88 okay why i have taken a long trade because i i was telling you that i am not comfortable to go short and this huge bullish candle gave me that indication that it may be trap for short sellers and you can see that this is a trap you can see that people who went short on that candle they are getting trapped and you can see that currently i am in a profit okay guys next update you can see that initially i was in a profit now my position turning into loss because on the chart you can see that after a bullish candle there is no follow up this looks a bearish candle in nifty that fifth candle looking bearish in nifty and bank nifty also making a bearish candle after that fourth bullish candle i went long on the fourth bullish candle thinking that it's a it's a bullish sign because of the candle size huge candle size made me that it may be a bullish position but the trade is not working and you can see that currently i am in a loss in this trade because it's getting reverse let us see how the trade goes okay guys what i am doing is i'll add to my position what i am doing is i'm at to my position and you can see that i have added to my position and currently my currently my quantity is 1200 in this trade okay guys next update you can see that i was in a loss now my position slowly coming into the profit now around 5 around 6000 profit in this trade and let us see on the chart what's happening i entered around fourth candle but immediately fifth candle made a bearish candle so i came into the loss now sixth and seventh candle making a bullish made a bullish candle so now my position coming back into the profit and you can see that now my profit is more than 20000 in this trade okay guys and the next update you can see that profit is more than 30000 in this trade 
and average price which was sold at 91 now trading at 61 62 and what's happening on the chart look at this i was telling you that i am not comfortable to go short i am not comfortable to go short i am looking to go long if i see a bullish candle right nifty also reversed and bank nifty also reversed so that is why it's important to understand the price action important to understand the price behavior so i went along here in the fourth candle and you can see that now seventh candle huge bullish candle so all the people who went short here they are getting trapped now who went short here they are getting trapped and you can see that currently my profit is more than 40000 from initially small loss now i am back in profit of 40000 now let us see what is the risk reward in this trade my average price is 91 and my quantity is 1200 91 into 1200 how much it is 1 lakh 9000 so i have a maximum profit potential in this trade around 1 lakh 9000 that is the maximum profit potential and let us see where i kept my stop loss you can see that i kept my stop loss at 125 right i kept my stop loss at 125 and average price is 91 that mean my stop loss at 34 points so 34 34 point stop loss and 1200 quantity how much it comes to it comes to 40000 right so maximum risk in this trade is 40000 and maximum profit potential in this trade is 1 lakh 9000 so that is more than 1 raise to 2 risk reward right so now you know that that is how you have to trade in the market always risk 1% of your capital to make 2% of profit it is not that every time your profit hits sometimes your stop loss also hit if your stop loss hits then you lose only 1% of your capital okay guys and the next update next update is now you can see that profit is more than 50000 in this trade and trade is going as per the plan let us see on the chart what's happening today looks like it will be one of the big trending day let us see how the trade goes because most of the time it can go up to 20 ama because there is a 20 ama and 20 ama like a magnet where price most of the time gets attracted towards the 20 ama okay guys and the next update is you can see that now profit is more than 70000 in this trade and current price is around 32 33 and profit is almost 70000 in this trade and what's happening on the chart you can see that it's no looking back for nifty and bank nifty nifty now coming near the cpr trying to break the cpr and bank nifty you can see that bank nifty also no looking back but bank nifty now at the strong resistance that is the yesterday's high where it made a big crash yesterday now bank nifty at the strong resistance from here anything can happen it can reverse and goes down it can break or it can stay sideways okay guys and the next update you can see that now currently profit is more than 90000 in this trade of bank nifty and average price now trading at around 50 and still i have not booked my profit but what i have done is i have trailed my stop loss can you see that where is my stop loss now my stop loss at 24 that is my trailing stop loss trailing stop loss mean once mark once your trade going in your direction from your initial stop loss you will keep raising your stop loss so that if suddenly market crashes you will not end up giving all your profit at least you will make good profit so if market reverses suddenly at least i will end up making decent profit i may not make 90000 profit but at least i'll make 80000 profit if there is a sudden crash in the market that is called trailing stop loss in trading so if my trailing stop loss hits i may end up making profit of 80000 because that is how i kept my trailing stop loss it is still more than 1 raise to 2 risk reward because initially you know that i have taken the risk of 40000 and if my stop loss sets i'll still make 80000 which is more than 1 raise to 2 risk reward so that mean from here whatever happens in the market i will end up making at least 1 raise to 2 risk reward in this trade and now you can see that bank nifty bank nifty now coming near the 20 ma i was telling you that 20 ama is like a magnet and you can see that currently bank nifty almost coming near the 20 ama okay guys and the next update you can see that profit is 98000 close to 1 lakh profit in this trade and currently it is trading at 9 rupees and let us see what's happening on bank nifty bank nifty you can see that now bank nifty finally touched the 20 ama and nifty also coming near the previous day high and you can see that my finally trailing stop loss at 15 and since now bank nifty at the resistance 
maybe it is time for me to think about squaring of my position because it's a strong resistance 20 ma is a strong resistance okay guys that's it i have squared off my position and you can see that today's profit in bank nifty is 1 lakh 352 that is the profit and let's go to my order book and see what is my where i take an entry you can see that first i entered short entered by selling option at 93 at the average price of around 93 then i have added to my position again 500 at an average price of 87 then again i have added 200 at the average price of 95 finally i have taken a position of 1200 and finally i squared off here trade which i have taken today is called virgin cpr reversal strategy as per my 25 day trading strategy nifty bank nifty webinar which i discuss in my webinar if you attended my day trading webinar you remember i discuss about a strategy called virgin cpr reversal strategy so what is this strategy actually this strategy whenever there is a virgin cpr virgin cpr means entire day if there is no candlestick inside that becomes virgin cpr and you can see that bank nifty broken the previous day low and came near the virgin cpr i was telling you that i will not go short here and why i was telling you i will not go short here because this was a strong support virgin cpr was a strong support and the scandals were making big big wicks on the downside so that says that that price action says that there is a reluctant from buyers to take market down and they want to take market up and this candle gave me confidence to go long and once this candle formed immediately i went long but you can see that after that this candle made a bearish candle right that's why initially i was in a small loss then from this candle onwards it started making a bullish candle and then again small bearish candle then it made a bullish candle it went near the previous day high came near the cpr and i was telling you that there is a very high chances that bank nifty can go near the 20 ma because 20 ma is a match is like a magnet and that is where finally bank nifty touched 20 ma on daily time frame and that is where i book my profit so that is what trading is that is what price action is so you have seen that i don't use any option chain open interest analysis nothing i just focus on price action and take my trade. and many people ask me my webinar strategy is only for option sellers or it's also for option buyers remember i sell option because it will give me theta advantage it give me theta benefits so that's why i sell option most of the time but in this candle i went long right if you bought call option in this candle i sold put option but had you bought call option on this candle and kept your stop loss below the candle till you would have ended making a big profit even though you are a option buyer right so that means what is most important in trading most important is understanding the direction of the market looking at the price action and knowing whether market is going to go up or go down if price action telling you that market goes up you can buy call option and keep your stop loss if market is going down you can buy put option and keep your stop loss so it is totally up to you whether you want to become an option buyer or option seller because of the theta advantage i try to sell option but people who have a small capital for them option buying also fine if you are right with the direction so that's about today's live trading in bank nifty with a profit of around 1 lakh 352 rupees okay guys that's about today's live trading in bank nifty so for a new trader who is watching this video it may looks very simple right it's so simple so cool that sitting at home working for three four hours and making one lakh rupees which is more than the monthly salary of any people working in nine to six job where entire month their salary will not be one lakh but in trading in a single day you can make one lakh rupees right it looks so attractive so lucrative but remember trading is not so simple so you should remember even though i made one lakh rupees I have taken the risk of 40,000 also in this trade, right? I have taken the risk of 40,000. That means I kept my stop loss in such a way that if the trade doesn't work, I will end up making 40,000 loss. So what I want to convey to the new traders is that it is not so simple that with a small capital, you can make 1 lakh rupees every day. It's not possible. I made around 1 lakh rupees, but my capital also big. So that means I have risk around 1% of my capital to make the profit of around 2%. So that is how trading works. That is how professional traders they make money. That means risking 1% of the capital 
to make 2% profit. So it doesn't work all the time. Sometimes stop loss hits, then we have to take the loss of 1%. If the profit target hits, then we try to make 2% of our capital. But as with the screen time, with experience, you will get that gut feeling that whether market is going to go up or go down. So that's about today's live trading in Bank Nifty. If you are interested to learn more about my day trading strategies, I discuss almost 25 day trading strategies in Nifty Bank Nifty in my webinar. If you are interested to learn this kind of strategies in Nifty Bank Nifty, then you can think about joining my webinar. Check the link below this video in the description section. If you are interested, you can contact me on WhatsApp or email and you can enroll for my upcoming webinar. Along with strategies, risk management, trading psychology also important. That also I discuss in my webinar. Other than that, I have swing trading course for people who are into full-time job. I have options course for people who are new to options and also I have a course called day trading strategies in stocks. So that's it guys about today's live trading. I hope you have liked this video. If you like this video then hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel go below and hit the subscribe button. So that's it guys. I'll see you soon with a new video. Until then bye and take care.